good room. This is a quick review of my 2018 Sun Tracker fishing barge. This is the first day I bought the boat. Here we are riding in the boat. This is the back fishing seat. If you'll notice, the table and the stand are tucked in a wild nylon mesh behind the rear seat there. It's a great out of the way stowage for it. The rear fishing seat has plenty of room, good room for your knees, a little rod storage, some small tool storage there. I keep the anchor in the back. Um, the dog likes to sit back here when the boat is underway also. Um, their motor is a 60 horsepower, fuel injected four stroke, great motor for the boat. It's very quiet and um, uses very little fuel. In the back here is a live well. It's a smaller live well. I believe it's approximately 10 gallons. I have a depth finder mounted in the back for the aft fishermen. Um, there's a place for a rod there going over the motor. Um, I keep a minnow net wire mesh or mesh minnow bucket in the back there. Keeps them alive for a long time. Um, there's a pepcock on the uh, water coming in there that you'll notice works really well for shutting off one or both of the, well, you'd never shut both off of the live wells. Um, it keeps them aerated very well and uh, recirculates nicely. You can have it underway under slow when you're moving slowly, never have the pump going on when the boat's going fast. In the back, there's a nice ladder. It's one of the nicest ladders I've ever had getting into a pontoon boat. It has the extra step that goes deeper into the water, makes it easier to get on. It's very sturdy, well-built, um, smooth. There's no rough or jagged edges on the ladder. Pretty well put together. Back door going in and out to get to the ladder is about it. One of my only complaints on the boat is there's no room for a power anchor, which would have been nice, but uh, I couldn't fit it here. This is the uh, Bemini top. It's got a nice spring action in it that one person can raise and lower it. I think it's probably one of the most ingenious designs on the boat. Um, I, I instantly installed a Hook 5 Lawrence step finder. I have a video uploaded on how to install it. It's, it's a very simple process. It's built into the dash. It's a nice flush mount. Um, it was perfectly designed. Here are the two transducers, one for the aft fisherman, smaller depth finder, and the other one for the Hook 5. Um, again, this is a video that's uploaded that you can look on how to install it if you want to attempt it yourself. Inside of the boat, um, it's just well uh, designed, laid out. There's plenty of storage underneath the seats and in the back of the backrests, which allows for this. I'm sorry about that. This is a changing station. Um, the worst design on the boat, the f I give it an F for fit and finish. I can't figure out what they were thinking about when they put that together. It needs a lot of rework. Um, as far as the fishing seats in the front of the boat go, they're very comfortable, a lot of space in between the front, the fencing and the in the seats for leg room, getting up, walking around, catching fish. I put in a uh, electric trolling motor, which uh, the pushes the boat very, very well. Um, if you look, I also put a depth finder in the front, uh, FL28, and underneath the dog, which I neglected to show was a depth, or a, sorry, a leather live well, a larger live well for bigger fish or more fish for the people in the front of the boat. Again, two uh, stations for your fishing poles in the front of the boat with a little bit of small tool storage. Um, the boat runs out at approximately almost 20 miles per hour over ground at 6,000 RPMs with myself, my dog, and uh, about a half a tank of gas. And um, very comfortable ride, very quiet ride. I would highly recommend that motor. I hope you enjoyed my video. Sorry it was so short. Thank you.